Hello friends, today I am going to be explaining in detail about Volcano. See, Volcano is a rupture in the crust of the planetary mass object such as Earth that allow hot lava volcanic ash and gases to escape from the magma chamber below the surface. So this is the surface in which developed crack and through this crack hot and molten magma material of more molten material which is present below the earth's surface which are lava or magma come on the earth's surface and this process we call it as a volcano see this is the diagram this is the magma chamber and this is molten material coming on the earth's surface through this fracture uh, this is the conical fracture developed through this activity called as volcano terminology of volcano Volcano, the process of repeat eruption, cooling and consolidation over a period of time give rise to conical structure commonly known as volcano. See, continue eruption and cooling of this lava and after consolidation from this con conical structure, this whole process we call as a volcano. Crater, depression at top of the volcanic coal is known as crater. See, see this is the magma chamber and this is the layers of the rock made uplifted made coming and form rupture and pipe like structure and form small depression here and form small depression here and this depression through molten material coming out this small depression at the top of the uh, cone of the volcano this is called as crater see the definition depression at top of the volcanic cone is known as crater volcanic pipe this is the magma chamber and this is the layers of the rock and with magma chamber through molten material coming out so it ruptured the overlying strata and form this like pipe like structure this is called as volcanic pipe or conduit the crater is connected with the magma chamber at the bottom of through pipe like conduit known as volcanic pipe so see this is the magma chamber and this is the surface and things will get rupture from pipe like structure and form a this cone like structures develop and this is the crater the crater and magma chamber connected by this volcanic pipe then parasitic cone sometimes lava may also issue from the side of the volcano giving rise to secondary and satellite or parasitic cone of the flanks of the main structure see the diagram see this is the magma chamber and form this pipe like structure or way to come out the molten material and form a small depression part this is called as crater and this is called as conduit pipe this is called as magma chamber and this is small small opening of the uh, small opening or small fracture in which rock uh, in which the molten material is coming out and this is small cones and here also develop this all called as parasitic cone so these are the terminology of the volcano then next is volcano occur at few causes of the volcano conversion plate boundary divergent plate boundary and hot spot see these are the two plate boundary conversion plate boundary in which two plates are moving towards the each other if it is oceanic place and it is a continental plate then that time oceanic plate subducted under this continental plate see here this is the oceanic plate and this is the continental plate when two plates are coming towards each other one plate be subducted below and another one remain on it this tells than the continental plate and it be subducted below and when it's subducted below it start to melt and form melting portion or melt molten material and it's coming on on the earth's surface through process of the volcano see here diagram properly see this is the red uh, circular showing that here the plate are get melt and volcano is generated then diversion plate diversion plate in which two plates are moving away from the each other when two plates are moving away from the either continental or either oceanic plate when two plates are moving from each other overlying in overburden of these strata get removed because of these whatever the material present here start to melt and form a molten material and that comes on the earth surface and flow over the area this way also volcano is generated so conversion boundary also called as destructive boundary and conversion boundary also called as constructive boundary because molten metal coming out and spread and form a new crust 
so these two blade bond is also responsible for the um, volcanic activity or generation of volcanic activity then hotspot hotspot is you know that earth crunches crust mantle and core part and in somewhere where some molten material present from longer year and it, it any time it can be um, excluded or uh, it's erupt on the surface uh, this type this accumulation of magma chamber at particular place this is called as hot spot hawaiian hot spot is the best example for the hot spot activity the next is a type of volcano volcano type classify on the basis of continuity eruption nature of eruption and mode of occurrence continuity eruption nature of eruption and mode of occurrence c continuity eruption active dormant and active eruption these are the type of the continuity eruption continue of eruption on the basis of volcano are classified see the active volcano are those which still erupt either or intermittently or continuously the volcano which has not erupt for longer time but are expected to be active at any time called as dormant volcano means hot where is hot spot present that region we call as active a volcano uh, the vol this active volcano those which are still erupted either or we are going to be erupted within a some days this type we call as active volcano hot spots comes under the active volcano dormant volcano means it is now not uh, in active format but it after some time uh, it going to be very active then this is called as dormant in active volcano and then extinct volcano is what volcano in extinct volcano is one which has stopped eruption over long time uh, which has stopped eruption over long time this is called as extinct volcano the example is kilimanjaro in tanzania and africa is considered to be as a dormant volcano and hotspot in hawaiian main consists as active volcano these are the examples of so next is a continuity eruption then in nature of eruption in quiet type intermediate type boiling type depending upon the factor like chemical composition of the lava amount of gas containing them on on, be, on the basis of that pressure will be vary so based on the chemical composition and gases contain and this cause of pressure eruption change their pattern either it comes really very slowly either it come very fast on the basis of that nature of eruption quiet intermediate and violent quiet type means uh, magma is coming very slowly on the surface not very fast not erupt very fastly or more explosively so in quiet type volcano the lava erupt quietly without any explosion in this case lava is a basaltic composition which is highly fluid and hold little gas in quiet type and intermediate type this type of volcano erupt intermittently with explosion in the beginning and gradually the explosion action die down lava is emitted quietly it means firstly it start more explosively activity means consist mainly amount of gas and after that erupt very quietly so both condition are been seen quiet and intermediate but violent type of the nature of eruption in which lava comes out very high explosive power because this lava contain more amount of gases so in the violent type volcanoes there are explosive eruption with lava in such case of acidic nature and high degree of viscosity so it comes out very uh, explosively in nature then next mode of occurrence these are two type of mode of occurrence central type and fissure type central type means form a cone like structure during eruption form a pipe uh, towards the magma chamber or magma chamber form pipe and it's from this gate depression part here this is called as crater and then molten material coming out then this type of eruption called as central type of eruption and then fissure type of eruption means on the surface develop some small or large crack and on this large crack lava coming out very quietly not explosively in nature and in central type the lava coming out very explosively in nature this is a mode of occurrence see the type of volcano volcano classified on the basis of continuity nature eruption mode of occurrence active dormant extinct nature eruption quiet intermediate type violent type mode of eruption central and fissure type then volcanic topography volcanic topography volcano produce distinct landform through which extrusion of lava the most obvious landform created by volcanism is volcano volcanic topography include both positive and negative really and negative features like crater and this caldera is here and the volcanic tectonic depression these are the negative features are developed the next is a different volcanic topography shield volcano see firstly the diagram of shield volcano 
see this is the shield volcano what happened when it uh, start to uh, coming out from a long crater portion and from the slopey portion not conical structures are developed this is the form the slope portion is developed and this type of slope portion is called as shield volcano shield volcano build up over time after many eruption pouring of lava from single wind develop because because of more lava erupted in a single wind because of these the diameter of these uh, crater is increases and the slope usually around 50 degree and the slope is formed around 50 degree if the eruption are regular the shield shape can expand and many kilometer in circumference several kilometer in a high so shield shape means shape of the crater see this type of structure is developed lava is coming out so this type of call as shield volcano and mono uh, Mauna Lao Hawaii is example of shield volcano. It is a 10 kilometer from its base on the sea floor. It is a peak 4 kilometer above the sea levels. See then dome volcano. See this is the magma chamber which contains high amount of gases. So form because of these overlying starting get uplifted because of pressure and from fractures and you know, fractures between that cone shape and material is coming out. So this type of structure is developed called as dome volcano. Dome volcano created when basic lava erupted and is highly viscous and can hardly flow. There are little separating of the lava and they build up over time. Due to little movement, the vent of the volcano often flow. This means eruption of often explosive as gases and are trapped. Blast a dome in the fragment. See, this is the magma chamber and from this cone-like structure, this is called a dome-like structure. But in these part of the magma present is highly viscous. It cannot flow, so it get plug here, and because of high pressure, also explosively um, eruption take place. Then ash cider volcano. See as sand volcano, cylinder cone volcano are built up over time from the layer ejector. Soil fragment are released from the volcano during an eruption. These soil fragment is deposited in layer in a volcano builds up angle depends upon the maximum angle of stability. It's a weapon liquid or explosive. See as sand or cone is a diagram here. See this is the vein and this is the sand. This is magma fine ash so whatever the solid material is coming out start to deposit it here and form angles this type of call as cylinder volcano then composite volcano are found along subduction zone created by alternating layer of lava and ejecta with ash and rock fragment lay down after each eruption the composite volcano are high and snow cap peak of an exceeding 2500 meter in height the eruption of composite volcano are explosively in nature during time between eruption they are generally very quiet dormant often seen external zone the lava from this volcano is very viscous clogging the volcano vent it is also contain high level of gases which all add up to the explosiveness of the volcano See, this is the magma chamber and form a cone like structure. And whatever the gas, ash, or uh, the soil fragments are coming out on and start to deposit it here. This type of structure called as composite volcano. Then, calendar volcano. Calendar volcano have diameter of over 1 miles and the shape more like inverse crater. This vast crater is created by eruption that are so explosively and lower that the magma chamber is partially emitted and the volcano summit collapses in it to itself. This type of volcano, largest volcano on the earth, have the potential to cause its catastrophic damage if the eruption occurs. They have been no recent eruption of any caldera volcano and fully effect of such eruption occurring in are known. No. The Yellowstone caldera system in the USA is the most well documented caldera volcano at present. See, this is caldera volcano. What happened when doing volcanic activity? Uh, magma chamber and it's coming out from a more depressive part at the top, uh, like inverse to the crater. And magma chamber coming out through small, small, uh, all hills to volcano, small, small volcanic cone. This type of structure is developed called as caldera cone. See here. Small, small depression part is developed and in which to create a small small seal in which molten material is coming out so this type of structure is developed called as calendar volcano next point volcanic crater it is an approximately circular depression in the ground caused by volcanic activity it is typically bowl shaped feature within the occur or vent or vent during volcanic eruption molten magma and volcanic gases rise from underground magma chamber through tube shaped conduit until they reaches the crater vent 
reactors when uh, form where the gases escape into the atmosphere and the magma is erupted as a lava a volcanic crater can be in large dimension and be sometime greater depth during the certain type of explosive eruption volcanic magma chamber may empty enough for area above it to subside and forming type of large depression known as caldera see this is the crater basically uh, it's going to be all this material whatever this is the basically form crater and it deep depth is very high and whatever is the magma chamber mountain material is going to be erupted or removed and the depression part is remain as it is this is called as volcanic crater so this circular circular depression is in the found in the on the surface this is called as crater this form due to the volcanic activity and if it has a high depth then this type of structure is also called as caldera volcano and see this is the small crater depression form after uh, stop more volcanic activity uh, these only small depression we have seen on the surface and this is called as crater if it has high depth then this is called as caldera high depth and more depression then called as caldera thank you for watching volcano lecture